African Human Rights Commission has conducted a site inspection at the Rahima Musa Mother and Child Hospital in Johannesburg. It comes after nine infants reportedly died due to a bacterial outbreak at the hospital. It's claimed that overcrowding and severe staffing shortages played a key role in the outbreak. Let's go to ENCA's Malungelo Boy, who is in the newsroom watching that story there for us. So Malungelo, what did the South African Human Rights Commission find when they did that on-site inspection at the Rahima Musa Hospital? Well, I think one of the most important things to us is to clarify right now is that the cause of that bacteria really is still not known. But what we also know is that the National Institute for Communicable Diseases is also trying to figure out how, how the source of, 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 of that bacteria. But also to us is that the Human Rights Commission found that there is severe staff shortages at that hospital. And also that the equipment or the machines at the hospitals that, that, that are there, some of them are actually quite quite old and also that staff complained that they're overworked and also we've heard that there's also high absenteeism rate amongst staff um, uh, members at that particular hospital. Those are just some of the things um, um, the Human Rights Commission found but they're also saying that Tulasuzo when they were moving around at that neonatal award they also found that the, 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 the children or oh, the, the the, the babies that were there were very close to one another in, in a sense, in a way, saying that there is overcrowding there. That last point you raised, Malungelo, it, 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 links, and it links quite nicely to the uh, whole context of the state of uh, public health in Gauteng because you remember the whole situation around Klebsiella, for example, That's right. overcrowding was a factor. So what is the Human Rights Commission saying then uh, about the broader state of the Gauteng health uh, system? Well, one of the things they're also saying is that Tula Sizwe, this hospital is not the only ones that they've been visiting in this province. They're saying that they're getting complaints weekly about the state of, 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 of services or the state of hospitals uh, in, in, in Gauteng. And in fact, we now know Tula Sizwe that one of the things they'll be doing next day is to launch an inquiry into the, the state of health care and one of the people that they want to answer as to what exactly is being done to address this is the MEC for health here in Gauteng, Gwen Ramakhopa, but they also want the DG of health uh, in Gauteng to answer as to what is currently being done. If you recall, Tula Sizwe, um, early this year we saw activists marching to the provincial legislature. One of the things they were calling for is for government to deal with the issue of health care um, in, 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 in Gauteng, which they're saying that it is in crisis and I recall in fact some political parties also saying that something urgent has to be done to avert this this problem and of course the Human Rights Commission also saying that one of the things they found is that in some of these hospitals there's a lack of leadership people to give direction um, into how to deal with some of the problems that are there saying that if the issue of of, of of management or leadership in those hospitals is not addressed well, we won't be able to avert the crisis that we're facing in the healthcare system. I, 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 can, I can anticipate, Malungelo, but that the counter argument will include, inevitably, will include a line that talks about the in migration into Gauteng, that it actually does put a strain uh, on the resources in Gauteng. I mean, we, we heard a similar argument from the health minister a bit earlier on in the year, right? That's right, Tula Sizwe. Well, we, we can't deny that. In fact, at Rahima Musa, we know about 42% of the people that uh, receive care there, some of them are, are, are foreign nationals, and some of the people there are not in the country legally. But also, though, the Constitution does say that everyone has a right to, uh, to access to basic health care services. And in fact, um, the, the Commission is saying that the death of those nine ch infants in that hospital is a violation 
violation of the basic human rights and they've in fact called on the parents of those children to come forward so that they can be able to assist them in seeking recourse. Very quickly, Malungel, I don't know if they touched on this at all. Um, one of the key issues of focus in Gauteng in as far as public health is concerned, of course, is the issue around mental health provision uh, in Gauteng. Uh, remember the whole SHG sure. many situation sure. with 144 people having died. Are they touching on that at all, the state of uh, mental health provision? They did not, Tula Sizo, but I suppose when that inquiry resumes um, in January next year, that will also be a focal point. We know that there's 21 of those um, patients from Life as a Dimeni that have still not been located. We saw that officials from the health department appealing for assistance. And I suppose that will also be the, the focal point really when that inquiry resumes next year. The most important thing though to La Cizue is what is actually being done by authorities in addressing the issues that people in Gauteng face when it comes to health care. All right, Malungelo Boy, thank you so much.